Hello and welcome to today's video where I discuss a new cryptocurrency with an upcoming ICO, its unique value proposition and why you should keep an eye out for this one. This coin is being brought together in Tel Aviv, Israel and is called Koti, coin of the internet. Now you're probably asking yourself does the internet really need another coin, especially since there have been so many coins recently that have been that have flooded the market basically. Well. Now, as most of you guys know, for any cryptocurrency to succeed in this market, aside from Bitcoin, of course, is that it must possess a unique value proposition like Ethereum with its Turing complete language or say Monero with its privacy. Now, Koti comes into the market with its unique value proposition, which is basically to create a frictionless commerce ecosystem. Now, what do they mean by frictionless? Because this is base this is where they seem to shine. So friction in commerce, well commerce is basically the buying or selling of things or the exchanging of things. And any restriction to that buying or selling or or that uh, exchange is friction and friction drives up costs it drives up costs for the for the sellers it drives up costs for the buyers and it is basically a sinkhole in the economy friction is caused in many ways one of the ways friction is uh, caused in the economy is by a uh, lack of trust when uh, two parties don't trust each other they they might not trust each other uh, for th they might not trust the other party will pay they might not trust that the other party will deliver the goods. They might also not trust that the other party will give you goods of a satisfactory quality. Now, many, many commerce solutions have sprouted up that, that address each of these issues in a certain way, like credit card companies or, or say PayPal, they're going to reimburse you if your product is not delivered or, or, or a fraudulent charge has been made on your card and amazon is there so that you you ha you have a general idea of whether you're a bigger picture of whether the goods that you're going to receive is going to be of a satisfactory quality like uh, their rating system so cryptocurrencies so far they have solved the fear of non-payment to an extent and of uh, inflation of your store of value but for a cryptocurrency to be a true commerce solution, there has so far been a crucial missing piece, and that's mediation. If today you receive a good of unsatisfactory quality, or you don't get paid, or you don't get your goods delivered, and these, and you don't have a big corp like PayPal or Amazon backing you up, your only means of recourse is the courts and the courts are slow and they're expensive. And this is this is Cody's thing. This is Cody's so this is this is where Cody shines, guys. Healthy commerce involves a lot more than just paying and the receiving of cash. A healthy commerce ecosystem needs a mediation needs a mediation solution for when there are when for there for when there is conflict between two individuals now if you look if you if you this is this is Cody's overview document and over here they they have created a trust scoring engine and the trust scoring engine is Koti's innovation in the cryptocurrency market and this basically what it does is if you are in the network and you're dealing in Koti and you are going to have a trust score the trust scoring and the mediation system is Koti's innovation in the cryptocurrency market and this is an innovation that 
you should keep your eyes on that all of us should keep our eyes on because this is truly revolutionary in commerce this is decentralized conflict resolution let's go into the mediation system first here they have given us a couple of scenarios where the mediation system may come in handy say you have undelivered goods or services that you have paid for or you have non-confirming goods that have been delivered to you in a regular economy you'd have to go to the courts to resolve the issue now the courts are slow so what Koti has done is it has made a decentralized mediation system where people in the Koti network are going to participate they are going to participate in this conflict resolution the Koti the Koti's mediation system serves to protect buyers and sellers in the event of disputes arising within the network while the trust scoring engine adds a layer of trust to all Koti transactions and disincentivizes behavior that is dishonest or unfair Koti's approach to mediation harnesses the power See here, here is here is where is Koti's approach to mediation harnesses the power of a decentralized and distributed group of independent mediators to handle disputes. Mediators work independently to validate real-world information pertaining to transaction disputes and then cast votes on a mediated income on a mediated outcome. Now, the mediators they are not able to communicate communicate with each other and are unaware of un, and are unaware of how many mediators are involved in resolving a case in other words counterparty uh, that's that's too nitty-gritty so f these mediators are recruited from the Koti network to resolve any disputes that might arise and this will this will speed up this will accelerate the resolution of disputes and what happens that once once a resolution is reached is that the mediators are compensated in Koti in in Koti from the Koti network and the the winning party has its its Koti refunded to it and the losing party losing party has it his trust score increased and this is Koti's next innovation the trust score and this is basically each acting party in the Koti network is going to have a trust score which is going to determine his fees now people with individuals with low trust scores will have higher fees and individuals with high trust scores will have lower fees so if you are, are a merchant or you are a buyer who has not who, who has conducted himself in a way that is commercially welcome then Koti promises for you to have low to zero fees and individuals who have not been trustworthy in this in commerce will have their fees increased so now that we have talked about how Koti is going to differentiate itself from other coins in the market and its unique value proposition we can move on to delving a little deeper into who is behind Koti and the CEO of Koti is this person near Gazit and if we go into his LinkedIn we can see that he has been a VP in pay.com he has been chief product officer he has been co-organizer of FinTech Israel so he seems to be a stand-up guy he I don't I don't know him personally but
but he seems to have a long long history on his linkedin which is a which is a good sign it's it's a good sign we can go to the twitter of koti and you can see that they have they're pretty active on their social media they they have an update 18 hours ago there was an update 19 hours ago there's an update 23 hours ago so they've been pretty active on on their social media and generally koti team the in this article on medium.com koti summarizes how koti is going to build itself the in this article called the manifesto for a next generation payment system koti outlines its development efforts its seven core principles of its development efforts you can see excuse me you can see one number one is solving the payment challenges of today um wait combining the benefit of investment so in their seven core principles a couple that is noteworthy is this is number three personalizing the payments experience based on each individual user's behavior this ties in with their trust scoring engine where your personal behavior will affect your experience and other things they are pursuing is delivering ease of use and universal appeal rather than complexity and utility that is limited to a narrow tech savvy audience so koti is meant to be the mainstream currency that is going to be used for broad commerce rather than narrow com that rather than the narrow commerce that we've been seeing the cryptocurrencies for the last last couple of years and another thing that that is noteworthy with koti is that is their approach to regulations shaping c number seven here says shaping and securing appropriate regulatory authorization rather than avoiding compliance with the rules and regulations of sovereign states see every state has strict money controls and strict know your customer r regulations and strict um, money laundering rules right and Monero has designed itself to be totally the opposite of those types of things. And uh, so have Bitcoin and e Ethereum to a certain extent. But Koji's approach to regulation is totally dif different. It's that other cryptocurrencies should learn from. There is another, there, there are a couple of more value added propositions that Koji brings to the table, like it's international currency exchange and the other members of the team make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to keep an eye out for my next video where i will delve into a little where i will delve a little more in depth and talk about the team that is behind cody and the other great things cody has to off offer like their built-in currency exchange Aside from their revolutionary mediation system, which I think deserves another video of its own. Also, if you want to participate in the Koti ICO, there is a code in the description that you can use to get a 2.5% discount on any tokens you do choose to purchase.